we have posted the depreciation for the full uh, year and now we want just to check the consequence but of course we will use uh, a different app just to uh, explore some or some more of the fury apps that we have uh, in the general reporting so uh, it's of course the depreciation lists so let's come here and we will start the depreciation lists so uh, this is a new app well that we haven't even checked before so uh, let's um, set up the parameters so well for the fiscal year 2020 period that's going to be December so we have the full data here and for the company code let's enter our ID then the app will propose uh, the ledger the currency even a depreciation area which is fine let's let's leave that just like it is and well go to query the database as you can see uh, we have first just a line with the summary the values for the uh, acquisition and production costs at the reporting date and the posted amount for the depreciation but we have opened just uh, the detail and now we have um, the asset class but actually we can like drill down even more so let's open again now the detail for the asset class and well we have each uh, one of the assets that uh, we had uh, just relevant in the previous year that we uh, had an acquisition and that now that we have also posted the depreciation we have the full amount as you can see um, well the APC is the same for the two of them we, we, we had that actually also on the same date so that is also the reason they have the same useful life and the uh, full uh, depreciation amount for the full year it's also the same so 15,000 euros so it's a nice uh, summary but what uh, I would even say it's even probably nicer it's we can get to the detail and it's a very uh, well even nice interface so let's click on details and well, why is it also a, a great app here we have this nice graph now we know uh, how much of the depreciation has been <laughs> posted uh, and of course that is considering the useful life the depreciation key and that it's a uh, straight line to zero uh, well and we have all the parameters we have the depreciation start date and well at the just at the end the amount section just a summary so well um another nice report we can use it for uh, just checking the depreciation even just getting the data or first uh, on different levels of detail and getting to the actual assets so well now that we have just seen this we can just quit the app and um, for this lesson that will be it thank you